Hello friends, Pastor Sam here. Thanksgiving Day is tomorrow. We're beginning our preparations, cooking a little bit. And what I did was I looked into the Puritan writings, the writings of the Puritan ministers. One of them is Reverend Mather. He wrote a book of over 800 pages in length that you can find on the internet. It's called Magnalia Christi Americana. It is the tales of the great things that God and the Lord Jesus Christ did for our forefathers that came across the sea and inhabited this great nation. I talked some of my other messages about the prophecies about these nations, both for good and for bad. But as we celebrate Thanksgiving, we look at the nobility of our forefathers. And they're often maligned and they're often lied about. They were noble men and women, buried their countrymen and their children along the way. Don't forget, we're not talking about the frontier. This is the inception of the Mayflower in 1620, the Mayflower Compact and the Plymouth Colony, especially. Magnalia Christi Americanum was written in 1698. So it was 78 years after the original landing, nearly 80 years, 80 years being the four generation time that's addressed in the book, The Fourth Turning, which is so often discussed to define the apostasy that we're in today, that there's been a fourth turning in the 80 years approximately since what we call the greatest generation and the second world war. But the original 80 year period and fourth turning is documented in this book, Magnalia Christi Americanum. And it's only just a very little bit difficult to read. You know, they have F for S and things like that. But you ought to look it up and take a peek. A few things that Reverend Mather said in that was he addressed the gradual decline of the godliness of the people that had already happened in 1698. Now remember, 1776 is a whole other 78 years after, a whole other fourth turning beyond what's documented in Magnalia Christi Americana. A couple points that he brings up just to think about. He said that there was a 28 year period of Indian wars where the wrath of God was upon the people for their lackluster faith. So really he documents the providences from 1620 until 1670. And then following 28 years, he said, the hand of God's judgment had been against them for their own wickedness. And speaking of reformation, he said that the, the best reformation is the reformation that happens in the heart of each individual. He said, how does a great army turn about except that each man turns, each person turns. And that's what we should be thinking about on this day. It's giving thanks that the Lord's judgments have not been more severe than they are and how we can reform ourselves before greater wrath and fires come upon us. Happy Thanksgiving, friends. Do give thanks and do keep this day holy. Don't go run around with a bunch of papal, papish uh, Christ mass shopping and tinsel and lights. Just celebrate a holy convocation to the Lord, a holy Sabbath unto him. This is the only truly American holiday. And I hope that you honor God in it. And I hope that you do give thanks to him. Stop and give thanks.